Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the immediate if function in Microsoft Access. That's the if function, I-I-F. First, we'll make the words past due appear on an order next to the due date if the order is indeed past due. We'll compare the due date of the order to today's date. Then we'll make a query to display high credit if someone's credit limit is $1,000 or more. Otherwise, it'll display the word normal. And then finally, we'll look at the customers and the country they're in. And if that country field is blank, we'll use the if function to make it display United States. Today's question comes from Javon in Oakland, California, one of my gold members. Javon asks, I've got a form that I would like to display past due next to the due date. Is there any way I could do this without programming? I know you say VBA is easy and I'm learning with your lessons, but I need this quick. Thanks. Okay, yeah, Javon, there's all kinds of crazy cool things you can do with VBA once you learn it. But let me show you how to do it first without VBA so you can get your job done. Then I'll show you some other stuff in the extended cut. But for now, let's take a look at this. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. You can download a copy of this template from my website. It's absolutely free. There's a link down below in the description. Go grab it if you want to. In here, we got a basic customer form. And in the customer form, you'll see there's some orders. There's an order form. Okay, I only have an order date in here. But let's say we have a due date. Let's add that. All right, let's go back to the order table. Design view. There's order date. Let's come down here and put due date. All right, date time. Okay, and let's go back to the order form. And we'll put the due date up here. I'm going to slide this over here. Go to design view. Open it up a little bit. Let's slide this down, the sub form. Okay, and we'll move these guys. Whoops, I just grabbed that by accident. Let's select these and drag them down. And let's copy and paste the order date. Watch this. Copy, paste. See that? Slide it right there. We'll change this to due date. Okay, and I'll open this guy's properties up. Go to all and change this control source to due date. And change the name also, so that's due date. Okay, let's save this, see what we got. Save it, control S, close it down, open it back up again. All right, we got a due date field right here. Now, we don't have any values in our due dates, right? It's a new field. So, we'll have to put some values in here. All right, so today is February 8th, 2021. So, I'm going to put 215 in here. So, that's not due yet. Okay, now let's make a little room over here. Design view. I'm just going to shrink this guy up a little bit, move the invoice button over here. Okay, and I'm going to put another field right here that will sh that will either show past due or it'll show nothing. Okay, so I'm going to put an unbound text box here. So go up to your ribbon, grab a text box, drop it right next to that. All right, now you can delete that label, get rid of the label, slide this right up here, just like that. Now, unbound means this guy's not bound to a field in the underlying table. There's nothing that's going to be loading this guy with data. We're going to put the data in there ourselves. So, double click on this, go to the control source. Now, we're going to use something called the immediate if function, if, IIF. Okay? If is basically an if then statement, which you get from Visual Basic, right? If then, if this, then do that. But it's all in one little function. Just like a sum or average or any of those simple functions that we learn in Excel. It takes three bits of information. The first thing is, what is your condition? Right? X is greater than 5. Uh, the due date is less than or equal to today. That kind of stuff. The second thing is, what to put for the value if it's true. And the third thing is, what to put for the value if it's false. So, here's what it looks like. Equals... IIF, you know, let me zoom in so you can see this better. I'll zoom in with the zoom window. IIF, open parentheses, if the due date is less than, let's just say less than today's date. So date, the date function like that. All right, comma. What to put in this box if that's true. Past due. Otherwise, what to put in if, if it's false. In other words, if it's not past due, I'm just going to put an empty string there. Quote, quote. 
All right, close your parentheses. Hit OK. All right, save it, close it, and then open it back up again. All right, nothing's in there. Okay. Now let's change it. Let's put 2 1 in there, which is before today. Look at that. It says past due. See that? Nice and simple. All right. Go to a different order. Go over here. Let's go to Jim Kirk. All right. Orders. He's got something in here. Let's put in here 3 1. Okay. Nothing shows up. But if this was due on 1 1, look at that. Past due. All right. That's how the immediate if function works. And you can make this look all fancy. You can put some conditional formatting on it so it turns red, whatever you want. Conditional formatting, if you're not familiar with that, I've got other videos on that. I'll put links down below in the links section. You can also use the if function in queries. You can use them in queries, forms, and reports, and in your VBA code. One value that we have in our table is a credit limit, all right, $5,000 for me, for example. Well, let's, let's use a query. And let's make a field say high credit if that value is over $1,000, okay? So let's go back to create a query, query design. I'll bring in my customer table. All right, let's just bring in the customer ID, first name, last name, and let's find that credit limit. There it is right there. All right, so far, this is what I've got, all right? Let's put a couple other credit limits in here, 250 and then a 75, okay? Now, I want another column over here that'll say high credit if this value is over $1,000. Okay, so let's go back to design view. Come right down here. We're going to say is high, or whatever you want to call it. That's, a, that's called a field alias. All right, if you've never done work with queries before, I've got other query design videos you should watch first. All right, then watch that and then come back to here. Go, go look down below for the query design video in the links section. All right, I cover a lot of queries, too, in my Access Beginner 1 class. Free, three hours, go watch it, okay? So I'm going to zoom in again, Shift F2. All right, is high. We're going to say if, immediate if, if credit limit is greater than or equal to, let's say, 1,000, comma, put in here high credit, comma, otherwise put in here normal, okay? Hit OK, save it. Let's call this my customer credit queue, and then let's run it. And there we go. High credit or normal. And this will update whenever this field updates too. Look, at that value is not stored in the field. All right, this is not stored in the table. This is a calculated query field. Again, I got videos on calculated query fields. All right, go watch that. One thing that I like to do in my databases, if you look at the customer table, is I'm in the United States, and so I usually leave the country field blank or null if the customer is in the United States. So what if you want a query that actually shows a list of countries that your customers are in? Well, we can use the immediate if and substitute null for United States. So let's create another query. Query design. Customers again. Let's bring in first name, last name. Let's bring in the country. All right, this is what we got so far. Only one person in a different country. Let's say um, Jim Kirk is from Canada. Okay. His Shatner's from Canada. All right, let's go back to design view. And over here, let's call this country string or whatever you want to call it. Let me zoom in for you. Shift F2. Country string colon if I say that in my classes, it makes people laugh. If too many, uh, too many eyes if, right? If we're going to say is null country, comma, put United States in here. Otherwise, put the country in here. See that? You can use a field in here as well, or a calculation, or even another if statement. You can nest these inside of each other. If you got three, four, five conditions, I'll show that in the extended cut. Okay, hit OK. Save it. Let's call this customer country queue. Let's run it. And then look at that. Got United States or the country that the customer is actually in. Pretty cool stuff, huh? That's the immediate if. And I've just scratched the surface. Lots you can do with immediate if. I cover the immediate if function in detail in my Microsoft Access Expert Level 8 class. I'll put a link to this down in the description below the video. 
Want to learn more about the if function? Again, take my Access Expert Level 8 class, but I've got an extended cut available of this video where I cover more for the members. Silver members and up. First, we'll cover nested if functions. That's an if function inside of another if function inside of another if function. Okay? We can use that to do the famous student letter grade problem. I do this in my Excel class and in my Access classes. You got a test score or a final grade or whatever, you want to convert that over to a letter grade. We'll use the if function to do that. I'll give you a review of the switch function, which is actually easier than nested ifs, but it's got its own set of limitations and benefits too. Then we'll take the if function into our VB code. Okay, Javon, I'll give you a little tiny bit of VB so you can see what's going on. And knowing that, we'll go a little bit further into the VB just to get your feet wet, and I'll show you how you can actually colorize that field, past due, due soon, and current. That's all covered in the extended cut. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.